Hey everyone, here we are, uh, another day out here, and today uh, we're we're on the tractor again. Uh, day two of the tractor. Really, really amazed at what this thing does and how quickly it does. But today, one of our main uh, goals is to at least get started tearing down this old storage shed. Now this storage shed has been here for I don't know how long, um, but it's uh, it's pretty trashed as you're going to see here in a moment. And uh, you know this is something that uh, I was dreading doing, but with the tractor and the forks, um, I think it'll be a whole lot easier. But this is one of the things that we need to get clear, uh, so we can start either stacking stuff over here or use this property because uh, this is really a mess. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So you can kind of see here behind that tree, there's the corner of it. And down here is the floor. There's a side over there. And on the other side of that are actually some glass windows that we're going to want to move. Now we dug out some stuff yesterday getting through here and you can see over here, this is some of the siding, but it's all kind of buried under there. And on this side over here, there's a top beam that's uh, really quite trashed. Um, it's uh, like it's cracked through. It's not going to take much to, to bring the rest of that front part down right there. But we need to pick up things like that yellow bottle as coolant or antifreeze. Um, there's lots of metal bits, stuff like that around here. We've got some paint cans we've already picked up. Lots of stuff like that. So we have our hands full. Um, we, we certainly have quite a bit to do. Um, but ultimately, I mean, this tractor has been pretty amazing. Uh, this is stuff that I got done yesterday, and you can see some of the earlier things. This is what I got done yesterday, just cleaning up. We pulled a bunch of the fence out, um, and we made this little path right here that actually goes back to the back of the property where we have a burn pit where we've been able to move some of the implements and we're parking the tractor back there. It's next to the neighbor's house a little bit closer over there, so I don't feel as bad leaving it out here all the time. But this is what we got ahead of us. Wish us luck. It was about this time that things got a little bit, well, ugly. Perhaps you remember me telling you, or showing you the video earlier, of the banana spiders that we have out here in Florida. Well, it was at this point that I realized that hanging from that large branch above was one of these huge, ugly banana spiders, just waiting to fall down in my hair if I messed up. So I, I took it upon myself to wage war on this banana spider. And although you can't see it, uh, I did enlist Jen's help here, as you can see, to, uh, to get it out of the tree with some spray, and then I ended up crushing it with the forks and returning to work. Now, this is just something that we have to deal with out here uh, on a pretty regular basis, uh, these spiders. I think until at least stuff gets a little bit cleared out, they're gonna be around. And this shed, these pieces here that I have, uh, I wanted to reuse them as much as possible. But what we found is all of the, all of the wood and even most of the metal is covered with egg sacs from these spiders. Uh, maybe not these particular ones, but from spiders in general. And uh, it's pretty nasty. All right, so uh, out at the property again this week, and what we're gonna tackle today is some more clearing, uh, getting a path down the side of the property, the other side of the property towards the back a little bit, and we gotta take the remnants of this old shed to the dump. 
So this is kind of the remnants of the old shed. Um, lots of old nasty wood. There is some sheet metal here I thought about trying to use, but as you can see, this stuff is, is pretty beat up. And uh, in a lot of cases, there's what appears to be the spider egg sacs on things. So this metal is pretty much garbage. Now I'm gonna try to keep what I can off of the mobile home, but this stuff here, not much use for it. Unfortunately, a lot of it's also attached to wood and it's not something that we can really very easily separate. So we're gonna have to pay to dump it, which kind of stinks, but it is what it is. There are these little nuggets in here like this if you want some Christmas lights, but I think we're gonna let those go um, and probably just purchase some more. But ultimately, this is, uh, this is what we're doing today is we're gonna get this there and then we're also gonna take where we had dumped the stuff and we're gonna clean up over on this side. And the idea is we're gonna start planting some stuff out here real soon. And this is a prime area up here for some things, um, cranberry hibiscus and such that we can get up there. It'll offer a little bit of a privacy shield as well between uh, here and next door. And they should grow pretty well. Things tend to grow pretty fast here. Now this is the shed, gotta love it, or the uh, mobile home, gotta love that. Um, I will say this, um, we're dealing right now with figuring out what we're gonna do with a storage unit or something out here. And frankly, I've thought about using this. So the problem with using this is, I don't really know what's going on in there, what's, what's happening. Um, we did open the door, we did peek in a little bit. I'm worried about the floors, I'm worried about asbestos in the ceilings. I know it's leaking from up there. And I do know like at the back door that it's, uh, it's actually fallen through there. Um, this deck too is, not really something that, uh, frankly, I, I feel very comfortable walking on very often. This is gonna have to come out. Now, the thing about the deck here is, as you can see, it's growing some lovely plants, um, but I, I don't wanna fall through. But when we take this siding off, you can see all this siding along here, when we take this off, the problem we're gonna have is that this bottom piece along here, I don't want stuff to be able to come out from there. Uh, so as we're pulling screws out, as we're cutting stuff and, and removing all of this stuff, I don't wanna have to worry about some critter, some snakes, some something underneath wanting to come out because we've done that. And if we take off this, uh, this area right here, that's gonna leave all that open to our ankles from underneath there. So I know it may be a little bit paranoid sounding, but between me and you, I'd rather be safe than sorry. So that's kind of where we are right now. Um, we're gonna be doing this uh, dump run real quick and then we'll uh, come back and get to work on the other stuff. <laughs> 